When we draw more than one polar graph, quite often they will intersect each other. So what we are going to be, do, be able to do at the end of this lesson is find all points of intersection of polar graphs. All right, so polar, points of intersection of polar graphs, we're basically just going to always graph the two equations to make sure you have found all points of intersection, and we're basically just going to be looking where they equal each other. And the biggest thing is we do always want to make sure we graph them because sometimes setting the two equations equal to each other will not find all of the points of intersection. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and draw a graph here. I have r equals 1 minus 2 cosine theta and r equals 1. The graphs are going to look something like there's my first one and then my second graph looks like let's see if I can get this correctly that's supposed to be a circle <laughs> sorry it's not a very good circle <laughs> just pretend I guess all right so those are the two different graphs and we would like to find the points of intersection so I notice they intersect one two three places, all right? So first of all, to find those places, we're going to set the two equations equal to each other, just like we're used to in rectangular coordinates. So I'm gonna have one minus two cosine theta is equal to one. And then if I subtract one from both sides, I'll get negative two cosine theta is equal to zero. And then if I divide both sides by negative two, I will get cosine theta equals zero. And then I need to decide where does the cosine equal zero? And that would be at theta equals pi over two and 3 halves pi, and again, this graph was just going from 0 to 2 pi, so that's all we need to include here. And so, um, my theta my theta was equal to pi over 2, so to find my r value, we're going to put r equals the first one when theta equals pi over 2. r will equal 1 minus cosine, or 2, cosine pi over 2, and when I do that, I guess I don't need a parenthesis there. Um, pi over, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so 1 minus 2 times 0 is just 1, so my r is 1. So and if I plugged in 3 halves pi, I'd get the same thing, because the cosine of pi over 2 and the cosine of 3 halves pi are both 0. So my points of intersection so far would be the point 1 pi over 2 and 1 3 halves pi, which you'll notice definitely makes sense, because 1 pi over 2 would be right here, and, well, actually, there's no point of intersection right there. The point of intersection was down here, sorry. Um, cross that one off. The other one was 1, 3 halves pi, which is down here. So notice we found two points of intersection. We are missing the third point of intersection. So that's why I said we always want to graph them to make sure we found all points. So just by looking at this graph, since this circle has a radius of 1, we can tell that that point would be um, negative 1, 0. And since I'm dealing with polar coordinates down here, let's actually make sure that we put this in polar coordinates as well. So this, to describe this in polar coordinates, it still has a radius of negative 1, but if I started over on this side, it would take me pi radians to get over to that point. So this could be described by negative 1 pi. So those are my three points of intersection, and that's how you find the intersection of polar graphs.